And what we have to do from here is now solve this like a cuboid, uh, like a three by three by four. So how do I do this? Well, there's a couple of things that we don't have here that we had with this guy. Here, I can define what was my top and my bottom by letting this middle be my guide and deciding which ones, which colors match over here. This, I don't do that. I have actual complete freedom to decide. So first step, find, um, we can define the bottom. Let's say it's, uh, we'll say that it's white. So here's green and red. We want to find the other green and white, which is actually down here. So we won't start off with that. How about the other white with orange in it? And that's over here. So ultimately what we're gonna do is move this down here. Turn here, turn here. And that's gonna be the same um, middle, uh, same corner swap that we've done with the cuboids. This will turn this down here and flip it. So that's gonna be 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So there that is over here. And we just keep going. Now we're looking for the blue one, blue and white, which is over here. Move this down the same way, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. There that is. And last but not least, we've got this one. And this is the last one left. So same kind of thing. 2R, U, 2R, UI. Get the center back. 2R. All right, so we actually have the bottom. It's all in place. The main reason that we did that is so that we can use this to orient what our middles are supposed to be. So are there any middles that are actually in that are lined up? And yeah, this one, this green and red. So I'm gonna turn this back here. I'm gonna prime it from the top here on both sides to retain our cube form and just find, we don't know what the color is over here, so we just have to find which one matches. What I'm looking for is the green, just the other green. Do I have another green? Yeah, but no. I don't want to have two green and reds. So this is the other green over here. So what I'm going to actually have to do is I'm going to have to pop this green one up here. So what I'm going to do is bring this in line here, and I got to put this up here so I can bring it back down here. And I know this is the right one because if it flips here, it'll it'll match up with this. So basically, in preparation for the next move, what I'll do is uh, we'll move this up to R U to R Y and to R. Not as concerned what's happening here as of yet. So. I'll move this back here. This is the green. This is going to move down to here in the right place. So now we do it again. 2R. Whoop. Got to get that prime. See, I almost lost my shape there. 2R. U. 2R. UI. And 2R. Got that parity out of there. So, okay, so I've got the right green. Now next is orange. I need the other orange, that's not the green and orange, so obviously not this one. Here's an orange and blue, but it's not the right one because it's not going to flip in the right direction. So once again, I've got this over here. So I can flip this up. Same kind of thing, I'm just going to do the same thing. Bring this here. I'm going to flip this up so I can flip it back down. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So it's up here. Then I'm gonna move this back into place so that this orange can come and meet this orange over here. So once again, 2R, U, 2R, UI, and 2R. So orange is here. All right, let's keep going. I need the other blue, blue and green. Am I gonna get lucky this time? Nah, of course not. Blue and green appears to be... Oh, 
I'm sorry, I mean blue and red. Is that what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to get lucky. So this moves down to here. So 2R, U, 2R, UI, and 2R. Okay, so now I have this side solved here. Now remember, my whole goal right now is to solve my centers. This got messed up, as you can see over here. I'm not going to worry about that yet until I get all my centers in. So this is, this is all fine here. Okay, so let's pick it up from here. To get the top part, we need to find a sandwich formation. Um, now that we've, uh, we'll just kind of put these back in place here. So these are all in agreement with each other. Here is the sandwich formation over here. So as you recall, this comes out over here to the left. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing basically the corner swaps. And that, that should get us where, that should get us what we need. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. This flips by 90 degrees. This flips by 90 degrees. And do... 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. And that puts everything back over here. This got skewed, and these are all over here. All right, so now these are all right. All I have to do now is put these into position. Um, again, find the sandwich formation, which I have over here. Move this to the side, and I'm going to do the same thing. Once again, prime and prime. But now we're going to be moving just these guys. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, 90 degree turn, 90 degree turn, Whoop. 2R, UI, 2R, U, and 2R. And we've got that in. So we're able to get this into position. Okay, now the next step is to figure out how to put these in. So I have to put them at the right level. Since I don't have the benefit of the colors here to tell me, I just have to count which one's in and which one's not. So one red, blue, orange, and orange. So I've got two that are adjacent to each other. Here I've got one red, green, blue, green. So I've got two greens that are opposite. So you can say that these are on the wrong side. So I'm going to make use of the algorithms that I know to flip these. And I know one that will flip these two and these two. So how can I position them to where they're going to end up in the, at the right side? Well, I want to get a green one down here without changing this. So these two will flip, which is okay, but I'm going to put a red one up here. So actually, I'll keep this positioned here. This will move this red down here, and this orange will come up here. And that's important because now... I've got two over here, two oranges. This will move up here. So by the end of this algorithm, I'll have a green one here. Um, and it won't touch this. This red is going to come down here. But this will have flipped. And this orange is going to come up here. So as you recall, to do that algorithm, turn this here. We prime the bottom, prime the bottom. And it's the same as the square one. So it's going to be 2R. And both of these move now. Di, 2R, and take the prime out. Prime the top. 2R, 2U, 2R, and take the prime out. Prime the bottom. 2R, I'm just kind of holding the top here. D, 2R, take the prime out, prime the top, and once again, 2R, 2U, and if we can do it, 2R. So, did that work? Green, blue, orange, red, green, blue, red, orange. So this is all flipped in the right place. Let me just make sure that we have all these guys right. Yeah. Now, of course, the next step would be to flip these guys, but we're not going to do that yet. What I'm going to do first is do the same thing, but get these guys. 
This is the same configuration, but we don't have as much degrees of freedom. We actually have to deal with the proper colors too. So to deal with the proper colors, the first thing that I'm going to do is just um, flip these. Okay, so we want to do the algorithm to do a flip here. I'm going to put this over here. This will flip up to here. This will flip down to here. We'll get these back. I did a little wheeling around here. This has to stay exactly the same. These two can't change. So I'm just going to keep this primed over here. And now this doesn't stop. No matter what I do, this stays exactly the same. So I'm going to prime the bottom, just the bottom from here. And we've got a, so I've got this configuration. 2R, unprime the bottom, prime the top, 2R, unprime the top. Okay, so the overall effect is we got rid of those, and these guys are still, thank goodness, intact. All right, I'm going to keep this over here. I shouldn't change these bottoms at all. Now I want to make the L formation, so I'm going to do the algorithm that flips these guys and these guys to do that appropriately so that I can make the L. I'm going to move this over here so that this will flip here. So I'll have a white one here. I'll have a yellow one over here. So I'm going to actually turn it like this. The reason why I did that is this white will come here. This yellow will come here. Just exchange with this. So I'll end up with uh, I'll end up with an L formation. So to do that exchange, prime the bottom, 2R, DI, 2R, take the prime out, prime the top, 2R, 2U, 2R, take the prime out. Prime the, prime the bottom, 2R, D, 2R, take the prime out, prime the top, 2R, 2U, 2R, and take the prime out. So we've got the L formation here and the L formation here. And then finally, last but not least, hopefully we now um, just uh, put this in so that we can move this in the right position. All right, so hang in there. I think we're almost... See, the problem with this puzzle, too, is when you turn one, the whole thing, see, this is starting to move, so that can really make you lose track of what you're doing. And I want to make sure that I'm exchanging. And this wants to exchange here, so actually I'll, I'll have to do this. Okay, so this white will come down here. This white will come down here. This yellow will come here. And actually, I think we better go like this. Okay, so these two will exchange and these two will exchange and we'll have everything back. So, as you recall to do this, prime the bottom, 2R, DI, 2R, and unprime the bottom. Prime the top. 2R, 2U, 2R, unprime the top. Prime the bottom. 2R, D, with this back. 2R, take the prime out, prime the top, 2R, 2U, 2R, and take the prime out. So we did it. We've got all that in place. 
All right, a lot of struggling with the movements here, I gotta tell you. All right, so the last part is putting these guys in, rotating them in and seeing if we have any dreaded parity. 